So there's this ongoing conversation about how you cannot access platforms like Coinbase or Binance unless you're using a VPN. What happened? Well, it's all over the news that, you know, the government and also the ISPs are preventing people from accessing these platforms, you know, Binance, Coinbase and a couple of other crypto platforms because they want to encode stabilizing error. Um, but let's not get into all that. I want to quickly explain that if you cannot access Binance, one of the things you can actually do, first of all, if you're on Wi-Fi, turn off your Wi-Fi or just, you know, turn off Wi-Fi on your phone and try accessing it, the mobile network and see if it works. Because sometimes you can actually not access the Binance app if you're on Wi-Fi. So try that first before you panic and then see if it works. If it works fine, then it could be that you just cannot access Binance on your Wi-Fi. If it doesn't work, then we can pretty much do this next thing. So I'm making this video to let you know that you don't need a VPN to access crypto platforms. Actually, you're not supposed to be using VPN for a crypto platform or a crypto account that you did not use a VPN to register for because if you're in Nigeria and you're able to sign up on Binance, it's because Binance let you. Now, if you try using a VPN and Binance is not available at that location or for that location that your VPN is pointing to, it could be a problem. Binance can actually flag your account. It can happen. I've had a similar experience with Bybit as well, where I turned on my VPN. I think it was Winscribe. Shout out to Winscribe, by the way. It's a very, very, really awesome um, VPN. So this is not to shade them or anything. And I'm going to include a link in the description if you want to, you know, set up a Winscribe account. Winscribe is a VPN that lets you access pretty much any website out there. And um, it's very cheap to use. Every month they give you like 10 gigabytes free and you can use it for free or you can just, you know, pay for a subscription. I tried using Winscribe once to access Bybit and immediately I logged in. It just, Bybit just alerted me that this service is not supported in this region. That could happen. If you use VPN to access your crypto wallet or your exchange account, it could cause a problem. So here's what to do instead. If you cannot access a platform like Binance and Coinbase because you know the government did something, then you should actually go and update your DNS. Changing your DNS does not change your IP address. When you use a VPN, you change your IP address. That's what VPNs do. It changes your IP address. So now it looks like you're in the US, but you're not in the US. But if you update your um, DNS, it doesn't change your IP address. You're still in Nigeria and you can still access Binance. That's it, right? And to do this, simply go to settings on your phone. Now go to network. You should see an option that says um, DNS or private DNS. Change that to any private DNS that you know. The one I would recommend is just use 1.1.1.1 and save, that's it. And you should be able to access Binance. If you don't understand how DNS is work, don't worry, right? I'm going to include a link for you to basically find a list of DNSs. Another thing I'm also going to recommend is if you don't want to do all the DNS wahala, you can also go on Play Store or App Store if you're on iPhone, Play Store if you're on Android. Go there and, you know, download an app that pretty much changes your DNS for you. The one I currently use is 1.1 by Cloudflare and it's very good. It's very stable. I don't have to use a VPN. I like, I've rarely had to use a VPN because of this whole Binance issue. I simply just open the app, you know, turn it on and everything is secure. Everything is working fine. So you should check that out as well. I'm just going to include a link to everything in the description. And of course, you know, I make videos like this. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you around. Take care. Bye.